Hello, hello, everyone. All right, it's uh, it's time to get started. Although it appears we may be having some audio issues. Let's see. Uh, let's see if anything has improved. Have any, has anything improved, guys? Can you hear me now? What could be going on if it's not for having audio issues? Let's let's see if we can uh, address that before we get started. Testing. Okay, you guys can hear me? Okay, so you can hear my voice. Could you hear anything else? <laughs> Uh, I guess with, thanks to stream delay, I'm going to have to wait a while to hear the answer to that question. So, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, that's that's that. Hmm. wonder what happened there. I'm not using the RTX filter this time, so that is probably a good thing. Hmm. Okay. Well, what's important is that you guys can uh, you guys can hear my voice just fine. Okay, so we're going to, let's, uh, let's head into this. Let's go, uh, let's go check out the deck list. You know, now that I've earned some XP. All right, here we go. So what have we changed since last time? All right, last time. Uh, oh, did you see what, FFG, come on, man. Don't, don't, don't pull my chain like that. Don't pull my chain. Just, what FFG just posted? Oh, now I have to know. Oh, you people. All right, just 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 summarize, summarize it for me uh, in the in the comments there, man. Ah, oh, jeez, you want me to cut off my stream so I can find out the thing that FFG just posted? I hope it's good, guys. I hope it's good. All right, anyways, so look at the deck list here. Um, I earned some XP. I earned seven XP uh, from um, Threads of Fate, and uh, I tried a bunch of different tried a, di a few different options for this, but I realized that one thing is very important in this campaign, and that is uh, three da ability to deal three damage in a single shot. So I took, so with Loli here, I took um, some really key cards to be able to do three damage in a single shot, namely um, Mystic Enchanted Blade, because this card's so good, guys. <laughs> like, Mystic Enchanted Blade is really good, because, I mean, it, it, it looks like it says four charges, but it really, uh, you know, it really just, um, it's two charges of three damage. It's pretty nice. Plus the modif the combat modifier on it is huge. I also took Flare uh, for several reasons. Uh, one, it can deal three damage in a shot. But secondly, I've noticed this deck seems to, especially in this scenario, be there's a lot of damage and horror that comes at you. So you can kind of live and die based on your soak. And um, the ability to, like in a pinch, I can pull out um, like either one of my now seven allies is actually going to be pretty handy. So, um, and speaking of, since we uh, did well on all three acts, we've got Iktaka. I'm taking Alejandro. Um, this one's, he's a little less useful, but he provides some soak, which is nice. And if nothing else, he gets two willpower icons, which is actually really important in Boundary Beyond, being able to pass some willpower checks, including the most important willpower check. Took the Expedition Journal because extra actions to explore is great, and I uh, and I've got the Relic of Ages as well because you know three question marks, nothing wrong with that. Uh, it's also possible that we could use it to um, remove a Doom from the agenda. I mean, it's kind of expensive in terms of uh, spending willpower icons, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Um, the other thing I also took is Steadfast. Remember what I was saying earlier about the most important willpower check of the campaign happens in this scenario. Okay, so let's uh, let's. Head on over to uh, Tabletop Simulator here, and uh, we'll be able to get rolling. Okay, so we've um, we've got everything set up here. We are playing the Boundary Beyond. All right, I've I believe I have everything set up correctly. There was a bit of a question about how to um, how to handle the uh, story assets that you um, gain in your deck, and um, I, I think I've got it right. Um, another thing I did is I. I obeyed the setup instructions in order to get the upgraded Relic of Ages. I'm not totally sure whether that's correct. It's my understanding that you would get the upgraded Relic of Ages, even though that's not strictly a result that happens in standalone. But um, hopefully everything we should be okay. All right, I've got everything ready to go. Let's, uh, let's check out this Chaos Bag. Yep, big old minus five. This is definitely standalone. This is definitely uh, the 
correct chaos bag. Okay, so how this one works, we need to um, open up as many paths as we can. And um, we're going to do that by exploring from these locations. That's going to, exploring from those locations, these locations, there are going to be um, copies of these locations in the explore deck, in the exploration deck, then those are going to have clues on them. We need to just clear out the clues. And there's a lot of ways you can mess up in this one, especially, like I said, willpower checks. This is this one's especially brutal. And we're going to, it's the, um, it's also the scenario, one of two, one of, I guess, two scenarios, three, kind of, but one of, well, four almost even, uh, scenarios, and there are a few in each campaign where you try to do the best you can. So we're going to try to get two. That's my expectation. I'm going to try to get two of the, of the six because any more, it gets really dicey. You just run out of time. And uh, I also want to like not, you know, go insane or anything like that. So um, I've played a few practice rounds of this. Um, I'm going to choose to start at Zocalo here. And uh, my strategy that I've developed is going to become very clear to all of you. So let's get started. Hopefully the Pendant of the Queen is going to save our butts again. So, oh man, this, this hand is kind of awful. It's, um, well, I've got Tetsuo, which is good. I don't need a second Tetsuo. Okay. What do I need though? I mean, these are these are really good because they're resources, but I could really use like an Enchanted Blade right now. What I'm really going for right now is, um, so one thing to note is the first time you make a successful expiration, you have to make the most important willpower check of the campaign. So what that means is I'm kind of, I'm gonna start by stockpiling some willpower icons such as this Steadfast. Also, there's a lot of willpower treacheries. So as a result, I could really use a, like at least one more asset. So I'll mulligan that as well. Improvisation is really, really good though. So I think I'm going to hang on to that either for the um, resource gain or for um, the two question marks. So let's hope we get another asset in here. Hopefully a weapon. <laughs> yep. Well, it's not a, well, we're two thirds of the way there. <laughs> we're two thirds of the way to the Fendant of the Queen. Um, I don't really need the Pendant immediately, but that's, that's pretty hilarious. Okay. So um, here we go. Let's let's get started. I'm going to start off at Zocalo. All right. Um, this one is kind of awful because in order to even try to explore, you have to discard cards of a total combined cost of at least five. We are not going to do that um, because there are also five treacheries in this exploration deck. So I'm not going to do that. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off as a Guardian. Yeah, we're ready to go, aren't we? Yep, I'm going to start off as a Guardian. And action one, I'm going to play Tetsuo Mori. Uh, he's going to do some soak for me. Action two, I'm going to move down to the Metropolitan Cathedral. There's actually an important reason for that. So the Metropolitan Cathedral here, it's got two very useful um, actions on it. One is take one horror and draw two cards, which is great because that's going to help us rig up and that's going to help us um, get to a good amount of willpower icons to be able to make the most important willpower check. The other thing is it says here if you have, you can explore if you have six uh, six more cards in your hand. So since there are five treacheries in the deck and there are like two targets of there are two metropolitan cathedral versions I can that are that'll actually mean a successful exploration. I'm going to be smashing into some treacheries early and this is the least I guess the uh, least costly exploration um, location of the available ones on the map. So I've taken two actions um, play and move third action um, let's see. Third action, I'm going to draw, but first I'm going to swap into, um, because I don't want to lose my Tetsuo immediately from drawing cards. Uh, let's swap into, I'm really hoping for a Mystic card, so let's swap into Mystic, I think. Um, it's either going to be Mystic or Rogue. Good question, actually. Mystic or Rogue, Mystic or Rogue. Do I want Easy Marks? Am I betting on Easy Marks? Or I could be going for Mr. Rook here. Yeah, this is actually a tough call. Um, let's go to Rogue actually because that one costs zero. All right, third action. I'm gonna deal Mister. I'm gonna deal Tetsuo Mori a um, horror, and I'm gonna draw two cards with my third action. Oh, nice, easy mark, perfect. Okay, so that paid. That paid off. Okay, so here's our little stockpile of willpower icons for later. Um, having two segment of Onyx as early is gonna is kind of cool, but it also could be clogging up our hand. I kind of wanted to see these after. You know, we got we got over the initial hump of um, getting through the most important willpower check. So that's all our actions. All right, there are no baddies on the board, so I will draw a card and take a resource. Oh, we got our other improvisation. Okay, so we've got a lot of icons right now, which is good. That means I think we can start exploring next turn. All right, so that was the end of turn one. I am worried that I have no offense right now. 
So um, that could be a problem. All right, so one last shuffle of the encounter deck and the exploration deck, and let's see what we get with our first encounter card. Okay, that's the Guardian. This isn't so bad because um, for the time being, it's not going to harm us at all. Uh, I'm going to plant it right here. So the only thing this is going to shoot at, he's going to do damage to, are, is if I go to Koyak on here, which I'm uh, not going to do. Okay, so um, we're looking pretty good right now. I think uh, first action, I'm going to play my easy mark to get some more card draw going. Okay, uh, that's good to see, actually, uh, for one very important reason. I'm going to start... Ooh, I don't want to explore just yet. If I ex so one thing I'm worried about is um, there's one nasty treachery here that makes you send a um, an asset back to your um, uh, back to your deck, and um, I think I'm gonna use magnifying glass to kind of soak that treachery. I don't want to lose Tetsuo, and I don't want to swap to um, Guardian just yet because if I go in, I face plant, I'll be able to play these two, but. Nah, I don't like the option. I, I'm going to play this one. I'm going to be cautious. I'm really going to be cautious here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to swap to Seeker. Um, so I've spent one action playing Easy Mark. As a fast action, I'm going to play this Magnifying Glass. All right, now I'm going to... Because the Magnifying Glass, like, it's going to soak up that treachery. Of this, what's it called? Lost in... Yeah, you, you'll see it when you... You'll know when you see it. It's going to soak up a treachery that's going to make me send that back to the deck. And... Um, I don't mind really losing it to Crisis of Identity either. So I'm going to do that. Um, if I explore now, if for some reason I'm successful, I the best I can do is get up to seven versus four on the most important check, which I'm not feeling all that comfortable with. Um, I still have two actions left, though. But let's just do it. Let's smash into a treachery. Yeah, it's fine. Because, like, what else am I going to do at this point? All right, second action, we're going to explore. Uh, not not the square, not the square. Okay, there we go. That's what I was hoping for. I, um, I, I just wanted to soak up a treachery. I didn't want to hit the square just yet and have to, uh, you know, make the, the super expensive, super important willpower check. All right, so we're going to make a willpower check. It's going to be, um, this is going to deal us, I think, some horror. Um, I'm not feeling too bad about this one. Yeah, because skulls are minus one right now, so I don't feel too bad. I think I'm just going to let it go. So this this was our second action. Okay. Uh, reveal another token. Okay. Zero. Okay, so we pass it anyway. So that's not so bad. All right, so we've still got another action left. Um, I could deal us a horror to, to draw two cards. It's probably not the worst idea at this point to draw two cards. Um, I'd have to discard something, which kind of makes me worried. Let's see. I kind of wish, like I, like I was saying earlier, I kind of wish I had another asset to play at this point. So... I mean, I could draw one card, but why? Um, take a horror to draw two cards. Uh, yep, exactly, Northern Lights. That's uh, exactly what I'm afraid of. So that's why I'm using Magnifying Glass as my soak for this, um, for that treachery. Of which there are like three copies in the deck. Uh, yeah, I guess I could draw two cards. Like, what's the worst that can happen here? All right, third action, I'll deal myself a horror to draw two cards. Or I can I can I can just explore again. I can just do that. Yeah, I'll just explore again. That's fine. All right. It's risky, but because I might succeed. But yeah, it's fine. I'll explore again. Oh, there we go. Lost in time. This is actually kind of what I was. That's kind of what I was quietly hoping to get out of the way. This is the one where you have to lose an asset. So I'm gonna send this magnifying glass back into the deck. All right, and that's it. All right, so that actually went pretty well, to be honest. Um, I, I really could use like some sort of offense right now. All right, so uh, this guy does not shoot at us. So we're gonna go into we're gonna go to upkeep phase. We're gonna refresh our actions, get a card and a resource. Okay, Eureka, that's good. When we hit treacheries, that'll that'll help us. So we're at seven cards. Once again, I could really use. I think I could really use a um, an item right now. I, um, probably like an enchanted blade. All right, we're going to go to two Doom out of eight, and let's see what we get. Okay, that's just going to do nothing in Surge. Let's see, what do we get here? Okay, Hand of the Brotherhood. Okay, so this guy's kind of tricky to deal with because, um, you know, you got to, he just adds Doom on himself. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to put him down here, and I have a plan. Um, I have a plan for this guy. Hopefully we'll get a weapon. We'll be able to stab this guy before his Doom gets too far out of control. All right, so we're actually looking pretty good for exploring at this point because um, what we can do is if we explore and we hit the square, 
we'll, we're in a good place to be able to swap into Guardian and make the willpower check. So I'm just going to go for it. Like I said, I wish I had some more assets, but we're, you know, them's the breaks. I could power draw and then end up having to discard more events. So I think what I'm going to do is in first action, I'm going to explore because we have enough cards to do it. All right, here we go. First action, explore. Okay, looking for the square, not the square. Looking for the square, not the square. Looking for the square. Looking for the square. Looking for the square. Oh my gosh. Looking for the square. Looking for the square. Still, oh, here it is. This is the bad one. Okay, this is the one you really got to worry about. Okay, um, here we go. We've drawn timeline destabilization. Okay, so this is the nasty one because it gets bigger um, the more locations you've um, revealed so far. So right now it's three versus one, but this is not the place where I want to be falling behind by failing this. So I'm actually going to boost this one. So right now we're at three versus one. I'm going to put in Eureka to be four versus one. Um, that's going to cover most of the bag. Let's see, that's going to cover all but the Elder thing and the five. Um, I feel okay about those odds. Um, yeah, I feel kind of okay about those odds. All right. What, where's the... Zero, sweet, we succeed. Okay, so that's great, because now we get to trigger Eureka and look for an asset. All right, trigger Eureka. No assets here. Um, I might pull the flare. Um... I mean, easy mark is always good, but I just don't need resources right now. I just need I just need some freaking assets. Um, I don't need the intel report right now because investing the, the shrouds in these are actually not that tough. Um, that's not my problem. Is and the problem is not investigating. The problem is treacheries and dealing with the baddies when they when they uh, show up. Exactly, shuffling back into the encounter deck if you fail is really bad because that slows you down. That's more check tests you have to make later in order to actually progress. So I'm glad I got that one. Um, I think I'm gonna go for flare here because I can use it to pull like Taka or something yeah I think I'll do it plus it's kind of a weapon if in an emergency case like if I run into a um, brotherhood cultist or something um, I can use flare alright so that is three of the five treacheries um, dealt with okay we still have the one that adds doom so I don't I mean there's nothing I can do about that one and we have one other, and I that's the, the one I, I don't remember. I don't remember what the other one that I'm still missing, because there's a copy of that, there's a copy of that, there's a copy of that. There's the one that adds a doom. I just don't remember the other one. Oh, that's too bad. Huh. I can't remember which treachery was the other one, but oh well. Okay. So we have two left. We've spent one action. Um, we're still in a good place to be able to um, make the willpower test, because I think we'll be at three, four, five, six, seven, eight versus four, if I were to, um, yeah, we're, we're in a good place. So I think I'll just explore again and hope for the best. Okay, second action, let's explore again. Do I swap on a guardian now? Nah. All right, let's do another exploration and hope for it. Okay, looking for the square. Not the square, not the square. Here we go. Okay, so um, a lot of stuff is gonna happen here. All right, so each investigator at this location is going to take a damage. Okay, nothing we can do about that. And then we are going to advance Act 1. This is something that is easy to forget to do. All right, so we uh, we head into the past, and now we have to test willpower at 4. If we fail, we're going to get a nasty weakness. So like I was saying, the most important willpower check of the campaign. Um, Shadow, you might be right. Northern Lights, you might be right. Okay, so here we go. We're at three. Um, the difficulty is four. Let's see. I'm. I really want to make this, so I'm going to swap to guardian. Okay, I'm going to pitch in this steadfast to be three more. So now I'm at six versus four, and this is only worth two right now. So I'll put in this improvisation. I think I can afford to lose one of the prov improvisations because resources aren't a problem right now. All right, so we're at three, four, five, six, seven, eight versus four. Nice. Okay, so we uh, we don't gain a weakness. That is very good. All right, so here we are. We're at the temples. Um, it's Shroud three, which really isn't too bad. But I'm only I'm only testing a three versus three, so that's kind of unlucky. I think at this point, I think I'm just gonna um, guess keep drawing um, because I would like to have some uh, assets at this point. Because if I run into a baddie, I'm in trouble. It's risky to draw right now because of Tetsuo. Um, uh, let's do see that or if I investigate I don't really have any good way to boost I could play with improvisation but now nah, I need to get a better rig down so last action I'll draw 
Okay, that's okay. Um, not not super important right now. All right, enemy phase. Let's see. Nothing's gonna happen here, so we're gonna go right into upkeep and hope I don't lose my Tetsuo. I do not lose my Tetsuo. Also, not what I need right now. I could really use like a weapon or um, yeah, mainly looking for a weapon or like another magnifying glass or Lula Santiago or um, even Alejandro at this point would be pretty good. So we're gonna go for a new turn. But you know what, like I was saying at the beginning, we're going to take this one very, uh, we're going to take this one slowly and cautiously. We're not going to shoot for the moon here. Um, we're going to try to get one, and then we're going to try to get another one. Okay, this could actually become a problem, but it's, this could become a problem later, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. Instead, I think I'm going to keep drawing. Um, do I want to play Hallowed Mirror? Not really. Um, I think I'm going to actually swap to Seeker and draw some more. So you just swap to Seeker or swap to Rogue and draw some more. Uh, swapping a Mystic might not be too bad. Uh, I think I'll swap to Seeker and keep power drawing, looking for some better um, options. I could play the Hallowed Mirror right now. Just to, like, protect us. You know, while I'm still in still in Guardian. I don't think it's actually worth it, though. I've still got Tetsuo to lose. All right, so I'm going to swap to Seeker. And I'm going to go first action draw. Okay, that's not so bad. All right, so we've got eight cards. It's time to actually like use some of them. Um, I guess I better investigate at this point. Oh, update the location marker. Yep, another thing I always seem to forget. Thank you, Patrick. Yep, so this one is, is still connected to here, but it's connected only that way to here. So one thing that's uh, important for all of you who are going to play this, um, how connecting locations work. So this guy says here, while he's ready, um, uh, action and reaction abilities on this location and connecting locations cannot be triggered. So interesting fact, connecting locations are based on... So um, how to best describe this. So the only connecting locations to him are going to be the green diamond and the star. This place is not connected to this place right now, even though I, even though Temple Ruins is connected to the temples of Ten Tenochtitlan, the uh, temples of Tenochtitlan are not connected to the Temple Ruins. Interesting fact. All right, so that was action one. Okay, so I think I'm going to investigate now. Um, I'm currently at three versus three, which is kind of ugly. Whoops. Yeah, three versus three, kind of ugly. Um, I think I want to be three over because of the skulls. Yeah. Another possibility is I could draw and then I could play the Relic of Ages. Eh. Eh. Um. Three versus three. I want to be three over. It's kind of awkward right now. I mean, I could burn the duction on this. Yeah, I think I will actually, because if I were to overdraw and have to discard, the card I'd be discarding at this point would be deduction. So yeah, I'm going to waste a deduction right now. So I'm going to, second action, I'm going to investigate. I'm going to commit this a de deduction and this improvisation into the skill test. So I'm going to be six versus three. Uh, that's a success. Okay, didn't really need to commit, but um, skulls are minus three, so I wanted to grab it. Okay, so here's where the problem starts happening. Um, until I get rid of that, he's not going to be, I can't kill this guy. So um, I'm gonna have to work that out. All right, so fortunately um, I'm safe from Crisis of Identity, so I'm gonna do third action draw. I really could use some like weaponry right now. Chronophobia, okay, well, I got it. Okay, end of the turn, I take a direct horror. Okay, well, we got it out of the way, um, it's fine. All right, so here we go, um, these don't do anything. So now we're gonna go right into upkeep, card and resource. Okay, read the signs, it's totally not what I need. If I had a second adaptable, I would have gotten rid of those read the signs um, for something else, but I didn't. All right, so new turn. We are at four doom out of eight, and let's draw an encounter card. Oh, crap. Okay, this is what I was worried about, because um, I have I have no real good way to take this guy down right now. Um, this is kind of awful. Okay, so right now, um, the ancient location does not have clues, so it is Hunter. Okay, this is a problem. Plus, he poisons me if he hits me. Yeah, I mean, I can flare for three, but I can't do any more than that. So what am I going to do here? Yuck. Um, let's see. What am I going to do? Probably just going to evade it and move on. Um, but if I evade it, I don't want to move here. 
because this guy's here. Yeah, I'm kind of in a in a I'm kind of in a problem spo uh, problem spot right now. I gosh, I really need a weapon or a or a um need a weapon or a spectral razor. Yep, rut row is right, Labrus. Okay. It's not going so well. Okay, so I think I'm just going to invade this guy and move. Do I evade with the relic or do I swap to guardian? Um, I think I'm just going to evade with the relic. Because if I swap to guardian, I risk losing Tetsu, and that's my soak. So let's go. Um, I can't even deal with the chronophobia this turn. Um, okay, I'll just first action evade. I want to put in take the initiative for this. Yeah, let's be risky. Yeah, I'm not going to need Seeker for anything else. All right, I'll swap to Guardian. First action, I'm going to evade. Um, commit, take the initiative. So I'm going to be at six versus three to evade. Okay, oh crap. Uh-oh, this is going to go downhill. Um, this is going to go downhill. All right, second action, let's evade again, but I'm going to pitch in the Relic of Ages. So I'm going to be six versus three again. Okay, let's give that a good shuffle to be sure. Okay, six versus three. Okay, nice, it's evaded. All right. Um, whoops, so he's evaded. And then third action, I need to get out of there, and I need to not go here because he's there. Yeah, we're really backpedaling now. Um, I've got one though, so that, I guess I guess that's fine. Third action, I'll move. All right, we go to the enemy phase. Um, nothing bad's gonna happen to me. Instead, we're gonna now we're gonna go to upkeep. He's gonna end up refreshing, and we're gonna oh, we take a direct horror from Cornophobia. Yeah, we're really backpedaling here. This could be bad. All right, so we're gonna get a uh, upkeep. Okay, that's that's so that's decent to see, but it's not what we need. All right, new turn. Five Doom out of eight. And let's draw an encounter card. Shadowed? Okay, so we're actually at six Doom out of eight. Ah, oh, crap, we're in the Witching Hour now, thanks to that. Okay. Um, now I gotta test, I gotta test against Horror from him. Okay, so one bit of good news is if I fail this Horror check, Tets I can lose Tetsuo and go look for a weapon. Because I'm in Guardian, and I'm able to do that right now. All right, so right now I'm at three versus its fight value, which is two. Okay, so I'll just do that. Three versus two. Reveal another token. Zero. Oh, I passed. Dang it. I kind of wanted to fail that. All right. So we're in some trouble here. We're already in the Witching Hour of Act One. Um, I've only I've cleared one location. That's good. This guy's gonna hunt, so I need to leave this location as one of my three actions. Uh, I don't really have a whole lot else to do. So I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna. Oh, this place is the place where you can't get resources. Um, fortunately, I am flush with resources right now. So we're gonna go. If I go here, I'm going to take damage from the Guardian. It's not the worst, because I can just take it on Tetsuo. Um, yeah, we're in kind of a pickle here. Um, okay, so options are, if I go here... I could go here. Um, I'm safe from this guy. I'm farther away from this guy. There is no way I'm not. There's no way I'm going to be able to avoid um, unless I flare this guy. No, even then I still can't. I still can't go two actions, get rid of this, move, and flare. So I'm just going to have to um, soak the badness. So I'm going to go either here or here. Okay, if I go here, I get pinged by this guy, and I can't explore from here anyway because this guy's going to be next door. If I go here, I'm not going to be able to gain resources, but that is not my biggest problem right now because I just need more assets. All right, so I'll go up here as my first action. Okay, this is the place where I cannot gain resources. Okay, and then second two, let's stop the bleeding by getting rid of chronophobia. All right, so I think um, I think uh, things are starting to go badly. I think I'm just going to try to get two um, at this point. Try for two and try to survive. All right, so that was all three of our actions. We cleared chronophobia and we moved. All right, do I want to stay a guardian at this point? Um, I really don't want to lose Tetsuo because he's important soak. That being said, playing Hell of Mirror next turn might not be that bad. But I think I'm going to swap into um, Seeker at this point. Or Mystic. No, I'll swap into Mystic and just hope for the best. Hope I get a good card. <sighs> yeah, this is, this is a tough call. All right, we're going to go to the enemy phase. Um, he's going to hunt. And then we're going to go to upkeep in which I get a card and resource. Okay, not what I need. Oh, whoops, I don't get a resource because I'm at that place. Okay, things are going real bad here. All right, so now we advance. Okay. Uh, fortunately, in this standalone, there's no um, Harbinger. So there's nothing So nothing bad happens for um, 
advancing. Yeah, I see what you're saying about moving to the archer, and then I can get on top of him. Like, but the problem is, um, Northern Lights. If I were to move to the archer, I get stuck there, and I got to worry about this guy. Um, I'm kind of stuck right now. I was really hoping that this would save my butt. So, um, oh well. Yeah, he just shoots the connecting locations. If I were to stand on top of him, um, we would be okay. So I think I'm, I need to just draw my encounter card and hope I don't get something too bad. Okay, well, I guess I get another Doom. Yeah. Um, this is going to be... I'm just shooting for two now. All right, so we've got a Doom. Still no way to fight this. Still no way to deal with this guy. What do I do about it? Uh, pff, good question. This guy's going to come over and poison me. So I guess I could just move over to Chapultepec Park. That one, in order to explore, you have to... That one, in order to explore, you have to, what's it, um, make willpower checks. Uh, fortunately, I can do that at least once with taking the initiative. Another possibility is I can explore here, soak up the poison. That's actually not too bad, considering I've drawn a, um, I've already drawn a creeping poison, so maybe it's not too bad to get poisoned. But then I gotta, like, evade this guy next turn, and I have no way to actually hurt him. I could go first action draw and then make my second and third actions based on that. Yeah, let's do that. All right, first action I'm gonna draw and see if I get something good. Um, yeah, the panic seeps in, yep. Let's see, all right, first action draw, here we go. What do we get? Something good. Okay, not a way to deal with him. Um, so I guess I'll just move away. Um, yeah, things are not looking so great right now. Yeah, because if I stayed anywhere else, I would have to just soak some damage from him and get poisoned. And then I have to worry about evading him. Yeah. All right, we'll go over here. Buy us another turn. Okay, two, three. We end up over here. Okay, just don't fail willpower tests. Okay, well, that's that. He's going to hunt. And then um, this, we're kind of back into our corner right now. Um, yep, yeah, I'll stay a Mystic because I'm hoping for something good. Let's draw a card. Not what I need. Take a resource. Discard this emergency cash because I don't need resources. All right, new turn. We're going to be at two Doom out of five. And let's get an encounter card. Timeline destabilization. Okay, well, I'm not too concerned about failing this because I'm just trying to survive right now. Although if I fail a willpower check, I take some horror. So I would take a two. I would take a damage and two horror if I fail this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap into um, Guardian for this. Yeah, because Mystic's not going to help. Yeah, I guess I swap in a Guardian, and I'll probably use the Unexpected Courage on this, I guess. Yeah, all right, I'll just do a test at five versus two. Okay, okay, I, I succeed, so that's not that's dealt with. All right, there's really nothing I can do about this guy, so I think I'm just going to have to um, just kind of go for it and hope for the best. All right, I'm already a Guardian, so... I'll have this guy deal his horror to um, Tetsuo, so that way I can at least dig for a weapon. Uh, another possibility is I could get the third segment of Onyx and might be able to turn this around. All right, so what we're going to do is we're just going to explore and assume that this guy's going to come get us, and we'll take it on Tetsuo. We're already a guard, like I said, we're already a guardian. So let's go first action um, expedition journal. All right, that's the first action. Second action, let's explore. So we're we have to make a willpower test at um, versus three. I'm currently a three. I'll use this take the initiative to go to five. Um, so I'm, I'm making it on the skull, so let's just hope for the best. Okay, that's good. All right, so I explore successfully. Let's um, let's see what we get. I think there's still one more bad treachery in here. Well, let's count. Yeah, there's 12 cards left. There's two of each of the, uh, of the five unrevealed locations. There's one copy of this, so there's one bad treachery left. So odds are two to one that I'll actually get a location. All right, here we go. Let's look, we're looking for the triangle. Oh, the triangle. All right, here we go. Okay, uh, we have to just discard two random cards from our hand. Oh, that's awful. That's kind of bad because I could lose one of my segments. Um, that could be bad. But let's 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 see what happens here. I could also lose my flare, and that could also be bad. All right. Okay, well, let's hope for the best. Okay, I lose. Yep, and um, it's not too bad. Okay, well, I guess we're not getting the segment of Onyx this game. Uh, yeah, whatever. All right, what do we got here? Um, I can discard my hand of at least three cards to discover two clues. 
group that once per round. Now, I think this is the part where I would use read the signs here, but I mean, I could use read the signs. I think I've already swapped though. Maybe I'll use, oh, I don't know what to do. Um, I could just explore three versus two, not the worst. Um, yeah, well, what, uh, what am I going to do here? Um, I could just dump my hand and not make a test at all. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, the problem is crisis of identity lost in time and space. Problem is crisis of identity. Let's see. Uh, let's see, I'm a guardian. All right, well, I need... All right, so I want this guy to come in and take out Tetsuo so that way I can go get a um, hopefully go get a weapon uh, I could draw yeah I could just investigate yeah this is not really a good this is, a, this is, not, this is not a good run um, I could dump all my cards dumping my cards would actually make things worse I could get rid of this. Nah, there's no need for it just yet. I'm just going to try to survive this. So let's go second action draw. If I get crisis, that could be really bad. Um, so I think I'll just investigate at three versus two. Discard my hand. I don't know. Um, yeah, if I had Hallowed Mirror, that would help right now. Because I could heal up my horror. All right, whatever. Let's just investigate three versus two. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's totally it's totally swingy. Okay, that's a failure. Third action. That's a failure. Okay. So enemy phase. He'll hunt. Um, he's gonna hit Tetsuo for damage and a horror, and I'm poisoned. Okay. So let's do that. Yeah. So we're poisoned. Um, we lose Tetsuo and I get to look at the top nine. So here's a question. I can look at the top nine or I can guaranteed pull myself a, um, a segment of Onyx. Um, I don't know. One in 25 odds of getting the third segment of Onyx right now. Blah. Um, yeah, let's go look for a weapon. Okay, we'll look at the top. We'll look at the top nine. Okay. Well, there's a Spectral Razor. Okay, that I might actually be able to pull this, you know. Oh, I can't take Spectral Razor. I have to take an item. So I guess I pull this um, Magnifying Glass. Not what I need. Yeah. Okay, um, well, that's that. So I'll go to Upkeep. <laughs> yep. All right, new turn. Um, we are going to be at three Doom out of five, and we'll get an encounter card. I'm poisoned, so I take a damage. Great. Uh, let's do... Okay, Shadowed. Well, we're going to hasten our demise some more. So we are testing Willpower three versus two to see if we take some horror. Yep, not much we can do about that. Uh, minus three. So I take three... I take, what, two horror? Yep. Okay, that's that. Um, well, what am I going to do? Um, yeah, not, not much I can do here. Yep. Try to evade this guy, I guess. Evade, maybe flare, hope for a talker or something. Yep. Okay, so let's um, pitch the segments to try to evade this guy. Uh, five versus three. Yep. Um... Yep, not much I can do. Yeah, play that for why not? Second action, evade three versus three. Great. Um, I guess I add another clue to the. Uh, add another clue to here. Well, I guess I'm not getting that one. Um, third action, evade again three versus three versus three. Oh, that's good. Okay, so I evade this guy. Um, I could really use another action right now. I guess change roles. Um, I guess I'll go into Survivor, because why not? Um, okay, that's that. All right, enemy phase, not much happens. He's going to re-engage me, and then we're going to do this dance again. 
Uh, we'll go to upkeep, card resource. Okay, that's good to see. It's not going to matter very much, though, because I think we're on... Yep, yeah, we're on five Doom. Here comes the... Uh, yeah, here comes the Padma. Okay, so... We're going to advance. Is it alert? Oh, shit, it is alert. Okay, thank you, Nate. Um, how many evades did I fail? I think I failed two. So, yep, that's it. We're done. Okay, well, that was that. I guess I... Uh, I guess I... <laughs> I uh, lost on sanity. Well, that's too. Did I did I fail two? What did I get? Did I fail two or did I fail one? Let's see. I committed those. Yep. Then I tested against three versus three. Yep. It's alert. Okay. So I guess um, that's that. All right. We'll go to um, resolute. We'll go to um, a resolution. Okay. So we wake back up in our hotel room. We're going to, it's act two. So we're going to add each of these to the victory display. Okay. And yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, LaBruce. Um, the problem is if I had discarded my hand, I wouldn't have had any ability to boost anything. And I wouldn't have had my flair to be able to like actually, um, to be able to actually hunt or hurt this guy. So, oh, well. Plus, uh, if I use my flare and I was gonna like lose any, I was gonna like lose with one victory point anyway. Flare kind of gets me in a deeper hole by you know exiling itself. So it's like flare. You want to use it when it's actually gonna matter. All right. So one path is known to us. Um, and yeah, we get no card. We just get one. We get one victory point. Well, that was pretty quick. Um, that's uh, that's that. Okay. Well, that was a quick stream. Uh, it's really too bad, but um, them's the breaks with Boundary Beyond. Um, sometimes the encounter deck wrecks you, and uh, there's really nothing you can do about it. All right. Well, uh, thank you guys for coming out and uh, checking out this uh, pretty f fast stream. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. What happened? He had to get breakfast. Well, Lola went insane. All right. Well, in that case, um, have a good night, everybody.